Although she has never done any fashion education, Rachel Zoe is Hollywood's most famous stylist. The entrepreneur has built up a fashion empire. Among other things, she dresses women like Bella Hadid, Kendall Jenner, Julia Roberts or Jennifer Garner and became a star herself with her fashion collection and a reality show. She became famous because she invented boho chic at the beginning of her career. In the meantime, the stylist has published a best-selling book. She has her fashion line and her blog, The Zoe Report. She's married to Roger Berman, with whom she has two sons. Oh my God, when I first started, it was basically, um, how good can I be at my job, be paid next to nothing, and work the hardest out of everybody. And somehow, I just wanted to try and be the best stylist I could ever be. That was kind of my goal. Beyond that, not a lot. I, I kind of took every day as it came. But it was hard. It was a very different climate. I was not, I did not intern five different places before I started working, you know? It's not like it is now. It's very different now. Now you can actually study to be a stylist. You know, you can work when you're 17 and keep like working at different publications and things. I didn't know of any of that when I was younger. So I think the opportunities are greater, but I think the competition is much bigger now. My styling office was, yeah, in my garage. Um, racks and racks and racks of clothing. Um, and then I got a proper studio and an office, and then all of a sudden, everything just got bigger, bigger and bigger and better and more interesting and, you know, more employees and, you know, launched my media business and all of that. I think the most important steps in my career, I think, were being able to take those steps fearlessly. And I think probably one of the biggest was when I moved to LA and I became a stylist, I was freelance. Um, I started working with actors in Hollywood instead of music and as much, you know, fashion. I kind of made a shift. I would say that was one big thing. I would say when I launched my TV show, The Rachel Zoe Project, um, I launched two best-selling books. Those were all really big moments for me. Um, and then when I launched my media business in The Zoe Report um, about eight or nine years ago, and then I launched The Box of Style about two years ago, almost three years ago, and of course launching my Rachel Zoe collection seven years ago. So I, I think those are big kind of temp poles for me. Those are really big milestones in my career, but they weren't really planned. You know, they really weren't. I never really over, sort of, I never really set a blueprint for my career. I didn't. I just follow kind of what feels right at the time and you gotta kind of go with it. A lot of moments like that. I think those are the moments that you don't know they're happening when they happen and then you look back and realize they happened, you know? I'm definitely someone who doesn't stop and kind of relish in the moment. I'm someone who is constantly trying to be better and do more and do better. I think some of my styling moments in my career, whether it was Jennifer Lawrence or Anne Hathaway or Kate Hudson or Cameron Diaz that like changed my life, um, those real like Cinderella, those powerful moments where you're like, yes, I love what I do. Um, I think having an incredibly successful clothing collection launch, when I first launched, I was like, it was like, so much bigger than I thought it ever could be and that was really like a pinch me moment. I would say when I was doing my TV show, The Rachel Zoe Project, I would say that was a constant challenge because I was a producer on the show and I had to really protect what was in the show, the people, my clients, photographers, models, actors, whatever it was, um, and still put out a great show that gave people what they wanted to see. And I would say it was a real challenge for me to have to protect and deliver all things um, and put out a great product and still be really proud of what I was doing. Um, and then also, I had to really fight a lot. I found that I was fighting a lot to kind of stand up for what I felt was important. You know, and I've had to do that throughout my career. I've had to really fight a lot. And not, not fight, but I would say stand up for what I feel is right and what needs to happen. And I think as a woman, sometimes you could be perceived as being difficult when I'm not. You know, I think being truthful and being strong, you have to be, and I think that's really important. That struggle is real. They are the most important thing in my life. Um, and I live for every second I'm with them. And when I'm with them, I'm with them. And when I'm at work, I'm at work. And I separate it. And um, that's a daily struggle every single day, every single day. But so worth it, so worth it.